Here we are with the XF100 to 400mm shooting on the T5. Seven years ago, we tested this lens on the T1. A lot has happened <laughs> since. In fact, just this year, Sigma and Tamron have brought out some very competitive alternatives and Fujifilm themselves brought out, was it the 150 to 600? I still think this has a lot to give. And as I said in those videos, I think in all three, the XF100 to 400, especially on the secondhand market, is a very sure thing. Yeah. Anyway, I finally had a chance to shoot some planes with this thing. Yes, it's took seven years. And I think we need to talk about it. So let's crack on. Right, it's so nice to be reunited with this actual beast of a lens. Yep, it's not all internal, but nice action. And I can't remember where the lock is. I think the lock is just at, it's just at the start. Yeah, and it's not one of those that you can unlock without going via the screen. Manual focus still feels fine. This is well protected. 77 mil there weather resistance there made in japan yeah i remember this i know i really wanted to get out and shoot with it more but i never got a chance i just got too busy all this still feels sweet doesn't stop at any particular point but yeah that's pretty cool so it's what 152 to 609 mil full frame equivalent 16.2 degrees to 4.1 degrees now this you've got the clicked aperture cool oh, i didn't line that up there i like it to be lined up so we'll do that doesn't click in though but hey we can get it easy enough nice yeah so aperture ring is beautifully clicked i mean this is now a old lens let's just say obviously it's been a long time since i've looked at it and this doesn't seem to be you know particularly bad we do have good old oas switch a aperturing the full to five meters to infinity and of course the good old red badge Sweet. I forgot this was a red badge. I don't know why. I always just think of my 16 to 55 and my 50 to 1, 14, the 8 to 16. Huh. Anyway, getting old. Memories getting funny. And I clearly still haven't put that on straight. <laughs> well, that aperture, 4.5 to 5.6 to 22. So, you know, there are, let's say, close equivalents on the market now, just from the last year, in fact, that are a bit slower, frankly, uh, slightly different focal range, but close enough. And I still said that I felt that getting one of these on the use might be a better buy unless you really wanted to get something new. There are a few advantages, but image quality wise, there wasn't much in it. Now, I really want to give this a go at the airport if the weather holds out. So, yeah. Overall, I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's just stick it on the least appropriate camera body <laughs> that's out at the moment, as in the latest, the X-T5. Now, all my load bearing is going to be here. If it's handheld, it's going to be like that. If it's on a tripod or monopod, it's going to be there. So it's not from there. So this being odd doesn't matter to me at all. This has enough oomph in it, although it's not the fastest in the Fujifilm range. This has got plenty for my style of shooting and hopefully for getting those planes. Of course, we've got the subject detection with airplane mode, which I'm finding is very, very useful. So, you know what? As odd as it looks, it's absolutely fine as a shooter. In fact, handheld, like I said, if I'm doing it like that, it's absolutely fine. I do love the T5. It is beautiful. Clearly, this would be better suited overall on a H series body, but hey, this should be a good bit of crack.
Considering this lens is what, about eight years old, the build, the handling is classic Fujifilm red badge and it just comes to life under newer cameras. I really enjoy shooting with this one. It is a chunk, <laughs> but it's super easy to use, even handheld. Now autofocus and specifically subject detection, in my case it was airplanes, it's an absolute treat to use with this lens. It tracks really well as I'm finding with this little T5. It's a huge difference from when we first looked at the lens on the T1, of course. Yes, there's a little pincushion distortion, a little vignetting, but my overall impressions using this on the T5, it's a still a pro grade lens when it comes to image quality. And maybe it's the Fujifilm magic, and not the magical, the magic, but I'm just extra happy with the IQ from this than with the nearest rivals, which are also excellent choices. Sharpness at the longest end is... One aspect that the internet moaned about, but you know, on a new sensors, it's a non-issue. The lens is plenty sharp, especially when you're using correct technique shooting at the long end. Now, a lot of what you're seeing in this video is at the 400 mil end, and really there's more than enough resolution to play with. When it comes to image quality, the potential of this lens just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> As you know, we looked at the XF150 to 600 recently, as well as the Tamron 150 to 500, and the closest match, the Sigma 100 to 400 mil. So the lens isn't the only choice in this realm nowadays. Many, of course, want the latest and greatest. But when you consider you can get this one new for $16.99 and $8.67 used mint, that's not such a simple choice for me. It felt great going back to this lens even after shooting all the latest options. And at 8.67, it's probably the choice for me. In fairness, just before recording this piece earlier on today, today, not today, <laughs> I saw one going for 7.50 in pretty good condition. Now for balance, the Sigma, of course, isn't a bad choice. It's cheaper, smaller, lighter, has closer minimum focus distance, and is possibly, arguably sharper at 400 mil, if that matters to you. Importantly for me, this Fujifilm lens lets in a touch more light, seems to give that extra bit more quality to the image across the range, has an aperture ring, and I can use Fujifilm's teleconverters with it. Choice in tech is great, competition is always welcome, and as we've seen with this one, even a lens that was released in early 2016 can be a brilliant choice for us Fujifilm shooters. What do you reckon? Let us know and I'll see you in the next one.